Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last week, we used RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, to integrate the CSV file as a chatbot script to make sure your chatbot answers questions using correct information. We focused on backend and made sure everything worked smoothly. This week, we're going to build on that by creating an interactive chatbot interface with Streamlit. Connecting the front end to the back end, I'll show you how to set up everything so you can watch your chatbot in action. It's going to be quick tutorial as we already covered the back end last week. Today, we'll wrap everything up. Connecting the front end with the back end to ensure we can see the real chatbot. Let's get started. As usual, best practice, let's activate our environment, virtual environment. By using source, um, what is my virtual environment name? It's named rag, rag, bin, activate. Alrighty. How do we know it's already to activate? Here it is. Before, this is before, and this is after. So we already have environment, virtual environment activate. Now, what we're going to do next, we are going to do pip install all the requirement just to make sure that you know we have all of the packages installed it's gonna be really quick like you can see it here because i already have everything installed so that is the best practice now let's like take a look at our backend from last time this is our backend from last time. We already went over line by line what is the specific function and what, what does dog preprocessing helper doing. So this time we are going to wrap all of these up under one defined function to make sure it run in our front end. So that's why I have a backend here. And then I have a model.py here just to, you know, wrap everything up under a defined function called run input. And this input will be the input from your users, which is your customers who come in with a questions. So everything is wrapped under this function. Inside should everything be the same as last time. Just one thing different is here. We generate a response based on a chain dot run, run on what? Run on the input of your users and then return a response. That's it. That is our back end. Now let's get to the front end. Luckily, we already went through all of my front end code from my previous tutorial. We we'll try to use Streamlit with DialogueGPT as a back end. And we also try to use Streamlit as front end together with OpenAI. Now I will reuse that framework again. But you know, let's just to make sure that we all in the same page. Let's go through it one more time here. So I have first initialize the chat history. I need to save everything into a chat history. And then I want to display that just message here. So basically someone say hi, and then your chat bot answer. And then someone say something again, and need your chat bot answer. Everything will be displayed on your screen. And then first we have prompt. What is up? What is this? So this is like a chat input that where your user will, you know, type the question and then we call it prompt. So keep it in mind. Prompt is your user question. Then we have a markdown to display the user message in our just contain. And then we do have, you know, an append function here to store all the user message to the chat history. So that's from the user side. How about from our chatbot side? The chatbot first is started by asking what is up. And then when user answer uh, or add a question using prompt, it will generate a response using that question, which is the prompt here. What is the run function? This run function is import from the model. And what is the model? Which is our backend. So this backend will return a response, which that response will be displayed here as 
the response from your chatbot. So that is it. This is our front end and how front end and back end connect to each other to to answer your user questions. All right, it's demo time. Let's get to see our chatbot in action. Before we run, let's make sure we have Olama here um, open and run if you are using Olama locally. All right, let's go ahead and do streamlit um, run and then our file name, which is frontend.py. Let me open it here. It will redirect you to a front end, which is from local host. And you can see this inbox bar here with it, what is up, which mean, you know, the initial question from our chatbot right here, right? So what is up in that chat input? will become this prompt and this prompt will go into the model and then the model will return a response. So let's say I ask, what size do you carry? And we can see here there's a little icon of running, which means your back end is running and it is retrieve all the relevant information. And then here is the information it returned. We are happy to have you shop with us already. I don't care. What I care is the right information. So extra small to extra large. We do have up to two extra large, which is correct, which is correct because let's looking at our survey. Here is the answer that we give into the bot. We say we have extra small to extra extra large that is the right information and we just want to make sure whatever it say it give the right information to the customer and this is the next one is uh very interesting so if i ask if i ask the next question let's say if i ask do you offer plus sign option here if i ask this question and then you will see a little value error here. This is happened recently from LangChain. So how to fix that? Let's go back to our backend and uncomment this one out. Basically, it let the system to clear the catch every single time it run on the chain to make sure you know um, there is no error so this has happened recently and it's quite new so i just wanna you know highlight it here all right let's control c and then let's do it again let's run our streamlit run front end dot py and then let me make sure I save this and then let's run it again. Okay, it is running. So let's first ask question. What size do you carry? All right, a little running here just to, you know, the indicator that backend is running. So yes, this is the answer. Is it answered correctly? Yes, extra small to extra extra large. This is what we are looking for. And then let's do the next question and see if the error is still there. Do you offer a plus size option? Okay, this is a good sign. There's no error yet. This is a little indicator running. Here we go. Yes, so this is the answer we want because we are giving it from the script. And there is no error as you can see here in action um, question retrieve on the answers question retrieve on the answer all the history saving here and it's showing um, the history from both user and jackpot so this is just like a very simple question right you can do a lot more on the front end and you also can do a lot more on the back end and we will get into back into it in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.